Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about all the books I have checked out currently on Kindle Unlimited. So, this is an ebook haul. <laughs> Normally every single month I post an ebook haul on my channel. However, in the month of January, I downloaded two books for free that, that weren't on KU. So I'm kind of going to just use this video to talk about all of the books that I currently have checked out on Kindle Unlimited and then also mention the two books that I downloaded for free last month. I also just realized the two books that I downloaded for free, I actually didn't download two of those for free. I downloaded one of them for free and I purchased the other one with like the digital credit you sometimes get off Amazon if you like delay packages sometimes. So I technically bought one of them, but it was kind of free. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> the two books that I did not get off of Kindle Unlimited. First one is Endless Possibility by Emma Scott. This is a novella that takes place after a book that I love called Rush. I can't really talk about what this novella is about because I would spoil the ending of Rush, but it's like a little novella that takes place during a chunk of time in the main book Rush, but in a different character's perspective. I'm looking forward to reading this. I really want to read all of Emma Scott's backlist and I really loved Rush. So I really hope I love this one. And so the book that I ended up downloading for free in January, the only one I downloaded for free, is The Weakest Wolf by Eve Bale. The summary is pretty short, so I'm gonna read this one. Weak things never live long in the stone pack. To survive, I had to make myself strong. This pack took everything I loved from me. They shattered my heart into pieces so small that I knew I could never leave until I made them pay, no matter the cost, to myself or to my wolf. For years, I pretended to be something I wasn't until he came, our new alpha, Galen Hunt. Now my survival depends on dodging the pack, who have a new target at their sights, me. Galen promises he'll protect me from the pack's cruel games, but the cost is far too high. My secrets are mine and my body, he can lay claim to it all he wants, but that doesn't make me his. Sounds interesting. I saw the cover and was like, ooh, that looks very intriguing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna talk about the books that I currently have checked out on KU for the rest of this video. So first I have Just Go With It by Madison Wright. I first heard about this one because I know it has disability representation or chronic illness rep. I think it's chronic illness rep. Um, I think it's fibromyalgia representation if I'm not mistaken, but I know that this book is closed door. I just wanna put that out there if that's on your site, but I'm not opposed to reading closed door romances. I like to know ahead of time, obviously, um, but I do know that this has great chronic illness representation. So her heroine in here turns out like her life it's kind of like a hot mess right now. Um, she's lost her job, her home, and to top it all off, she has a chronic illness with no health insurance, which is horrible. As someone who has chronic illness, who has had no health insurance, I feel her pain. <laughs> I think she has to marry this guy named Wes in order to get health insurance maybe. And he's kind of like famous a little bit. I don't know what's gonna happen with this one, but I've heard really good things about it and I really love this cover. And um, the author's Instagram is also really cute, so. Then I have Next to You by Hannah Bonham Young. This is the second book in the next series. I read Hannah Bonham Young's other two books. I've read her other two books. I just had to pick this one up, obviously also because of Caitlin. Caitlin got me hooked onto this author and the author's also so sweet. We message each other on Instagram sometimes, like she's so sweet. Anyway, um, so I definitely have to read book two because I read book one in January, loved it. I was obsessed with it. So I need to read this one. I think we met both these characters in book one. So Lay in here, I think she's trying to renovate this school bus to live in it possibly. She asks her friend Matt, who's a mechanic, um, to help her with that. And so I think this is a friends to lovers, which is totally my vibe. I love friends to lovers between Lane and Matt. And that's all I really know about it other than like Caitlin swears by this book. So I trust Caitlin with all of my heart. Next, I have A Vow of Hate by Lila James. I know Freya from Freylise loves this book so much. So I had to pick it up. But then also I read The Mafia and His Angel or The Mafia and the Angel books by Lila James. It's like a trilogy about the same couple. And I loved those. It's probably the darkest romances I've ever read, but they were so good. I loved them. And so I have to pick this one up. This is an arranged marriage romance, apparently. And that's all I really know. I think it's like possible mafia arranged marriage. I don't know anything about it. Like I like to go into my books as blind as possible. That's why I don't give a lot of summaries for books like these. So my apologies, but I heard this is really good and I'm gonna trust my friend's opinion. <laughs> An alien one that I just saw on KU that I had to download is Taken, Alien Commander's Captive by Hattie Jacks. Their heroine here, Jane, 
um, becomes like, it's like a, hmm, a criminal in this alien empire. And she's claiming that she didn't do this crime. Um, and then Rexator is like in charge of, uh, like putting out sentences for all criminals. He doesn't really believe the heroine when she says she's not committed this crime, but he ends up falling for her. And so he's kind of like finding it difficult to grapple with his feelings of the fact that he might fall in love with a woman who's like a criminal, but she's not actually a criminal. So I don't really know anything else about it, but I know this is like an enemies to lovers romance. So I love those. Next is what I'm super excited for. I saw this on Instagram and just was like immediately, immediately getting. So this is Speechless by Lindsay Lanza. I know that this book has endometriosis rep anxiety representation with the hero the heroine here who has endometriosis has a service dog like come on i think they meet on a vacation too our heroine in here i think she's a author and um she just got divorced on the eve of her 30th birthday and she decides to make a new life for herself and her service dog in los angeles but when her living arrangements fall through just before takeoff a handsome stranger offers to let her stay with him and his motley crew of musicians in Malibu. Ooh. Her hero is Henry Turner, the award-winning composer whose music has held Lucy together while her life has been crumbling apart. Oh my gosh. So Henry might be at the peak of his creative career, but his crippling anxiety throws his personal life completely out of tune. Yet all of that changes the longer Lucy stays with him and his housemates, swiftly becoming one of her own and offering Henry a glimpse of happiness he never thought sounds so cute i want to read this so badly i hope this has amazing rap like oh i am so excited to read this next i have a good night's sleep by um stephanie simpson this is on my february tbr so i downloaded it for that reason um but i immediately downloaded this because i know that the whole series has chronic illness rep i'm pretty sure and so this one specifically has chronic insomnia representation so i think the hero and the heroine are neighbors and she finds out about his problem with being able to fall asleep so she ends up trying to help him out next i have titan by jillian graves this was on my january tbr i did not end up getting to it but i still want to read it this is a gargoyle monster romance that's all i really know i read blood moon by jillian graves her vampire one and really liked it so i was going to go back and read her debut i've heard great things about it i think the second book in the series comes out in april so i need to read it before then that's all i know so this is going to sit on my kindle library until i feel in the mood to read a longer monster romance because this is like 310 pages so normally monster romances i feel like are under that length but i'm just being very very picky <laughs> I have to be in the right mood to read a long monster romance. So another one that's on my February TBR is Lotus by Jennifer Hartman. Um, I know that this book has a lot of Archer's voice vibes. People have told me that. I think our hero ends up getting kidnapped when he's a child. He ends up escaping and he's finding like a new love or something like that. Like he's trying to find love for himself. Um, I think our heroine and him were like friends when he was a kid before he was kidnapped. And that's all I know. Let me know what you think of Lotus, please. I would love to know. One that I still have from... Christmas time is Frost by Ava Ross. And this is just like a short monster Christmassy romance. And I'm not opposed to reading Christmassy winter reads when it's not Christmas time. I don't really care about that. So um, it's pretty short. It's like 158 pages. So if I feel like reading it during the novella a thon, I will do that. So that's why it's still in my library. Next, I have Wed to the Alien Prince by January Bell. This is the second book in the Accidental Alien Bride series. I read book one. I I think in November and really liked it. Um, so these are romances where aliens and humans fall in love, but the humans don't know that they're getting married to aliens. So our humans in the situation, um, they are all women. They're an all women space crew and they have been tasked by their government to go to this one planet to kind of like sign an agreement and then they can go back home. Um, but when they go to this planet, they don't have like translator chips in them so they don't know what they're saying and they go through like kind of like the celebratory dinner for like i think it's like a, they're signing a peace treaty of some sort and they don't know that this actually isn't a peace treaty agreement their government ended up kind of like selling them to these aliens and they got married during the ceremony and none of them none of them know that so each book is about one of the human women with the alien that they accidentally married <laughs> they don't know that they married this person um so our heroine in here she's one of the human women and i think she ends up getting married to the alien prince on this planet I think from book one, like they have a very bantering relationship. So I love good banter. So I'm looking forward to this one. I'm currently reading this one. This is Fighting Silence by Ali Martinez. I'm only on chapter one, so I don't want to read the summary because I don't want to get like spoiled 
um, for what happens in this book, but I think our hero and heroine fall in love. Obviously it's a romance book, Avery, but our hero in here, um, I think he's losing his hearing. He's hard of hearing. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to pick up this book um, because it has that representation in it. And I think this is second chance romance where um, our hero and heroine were like in love before and he goes back to her. So I think it's a second chance romance. Um, and he's also like a, I think an MMA fighter of some sort. So this is good so far. I've only read one chapter of it. <laughs> Next I have The Alien's Little Sister by Amanda Milo. This is, uh, book number like seven or something in her like alien romance series. Um, I've heard great things about this one from Brie from 11 Words and I've been trying to find romances, alien romances where the heroine is the alien and the hero is the human. Um, so this is one of the ones that like popped up and I know nothing about this and I don't want to know anything about it. So yeah, I really love Amanda Milo's writing. She's just a fun writer. I really love her. I love her books. Another alien romance is I Married a Birdman by Regine Abel. This is a mail order bride series. Again, I know nothing about this, but I really love the other books in the series. And so I have this one checked out for whenever I'm in the mood to read another one. I don't like reading these books back to back. So whenever I'm in the mood to read about a birdman, falling in love with a human, I'll pick this one up. <laughs> Next I have Resisting the Grump by Ashley Munoz. This is a grumpy sunshine romance. I'll read the summary for this one because it sounds good. Uh, stalking the town recluse wasn't exactly wise. Davis was five years older than me, antisocial and temperamental. And there was this little fact that he didn't know I existed. Still, I gave my heart and he crushed it. So I picked up the pieces and ran away to New York City and I had a plan that would keep my heart intact for years. But one phone call changed everything. Returning home meant facing the past, the man who ruined me. I had hoped that the mountain had swallowed him whole. But as I set out to help my parents, I discover he's not only alive and well, but that they apparently love the jerk. So our parents love this guy. <laughs> um, he has no idea that we have a past, which is both a relief and a salt in the wound. But I promised myself I ignore how his eyes linger on me or how his touch feels like a live wire. And I'll remember that once upon a time, he broke me and for that, I refuse to fall in love again. But I can't control that he seems to be falling for me this time. Ooh, that sounds so good. I love Grumpy Sunshine Romance. Give it to me. Next, I have Hold by Claire Kent. I plan on reading this for the novella-a-thon. I've heard a lot of good things about Claire Kent specifically. And I think this one's like about a prison planet on like this, this prison on an alien planet. So there we go. Yeah, I know nothing else about this one. Again, I like to go into books blind. I feel bad saying that constantly, not having summaries for you. But um, I like to go into books as blind as possible. And this one's like one I'm going to read soon. Next, I have Snow by Sophie Lark. This is the second book in her Underworld series, her mafia, one of her mafia romance series. And yeah, I read Ivan. And so I just need to read Snow. And then I really want to read the whole Underworld series before I get to the Kingmakers. So I need to read Snow. Leaving Fate by Octavia Kaur is like a fantasy monster one that I uh, was intrigued by. I think this also takes place in our world though, because Clara in here, apparently she grew up in the foster system and she gets abducted by aliens. Oh no, this isn't fantasy, this is alien romance, okay. Um, she ends up going through a painful experimentations. Oh, and she ends up losing her hearing from it. Oh my gosh. She ends up getting taken by a terrifying beast in the forest. It's the alien, that's the hero of the story, I guess. And he's very, very, very possessive of her. Oh my gosh. So the hero in here is a here is the hero. And right when he sees this human woman, she knows that he belongs to her. So sounds really good. I did not think this was alien romance. Why did I think this was fantasy? I don't know why the, the cover's giving me fantasy vibes, I guess. A uh, historical one that I have checked out is The Soul of a Storm by Sandra Suku. I just downloaded this one because I think book three has disability rep. So I checked out book one. And the last one for this video is The Alien Commander's Mate by Ava Ross. Um, just another alien romance that's been sitting on my Kindle, Kindle library for forever. I want a child, but that's impossible now that Earth's men are sterile. Then a ping from a distant planet reaches us. Aliens are real and they're interested in getting to know Earth women better. The zillions fall into an insatiable urge once every three years called the slaking. And there aren't enough females to give them what they need. Like many Earth women, I sign up. For one week, I'll make a little alien happy and in exchange, I get a child. As long as I keep my heart out of the equation, things should go fine, right? But when an intergalactic war erupts, we must fight for our own survival. Sounds interesting. So there you have it. Those are all the books that I have currently checked out on KU. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to, um, or if you want to buddy read any of them, let me know. Don't give me a big push to read them. <laughs> and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me what emoji should we do? Let's do a plant emoji, any plant you can think of. Um, but anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.